Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today we have the second episode in our Getting Started with Amateur Digital Comms series. Today we're going to be configuring a USB audio interface on Android for use with Droid PSK, RTTY, SSTV, JT65, and FLMSG and other apps like that. It shouldn't be a terribly difficult video. Anyone can do this and it should be simple enough to follow along. So stick with me and let's get going. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign narrative. Now before we get to the audio interface configuration, I want to show you some capabilities of an app called AND FL MSG on Android. Now in this short demonstration, we're going to use AND FL MSG to send a picture message from one of my mobile phones to another of my mobile phones or tablets. We're going to cover AND FL MSG later in the series in great detail, but for now, have a look at how we send this picture message encapsulated from one phone to the other. Depending on the mode we use, we can do this on HF, VHF, or UHF. We can even do it on SSB or FM. Still, if this wasn't cool enough for you, this isn't the only thing the app can do. Now what's really cool about this app and other apps like it on Android is you can use them with the audio interface like the ZLC Mini SE Pro, the Signalink USB, the Wolfy Link through the TRRS connection, or you can use them over the sound card simply placing your radio next to the audio output on the device. What's more, you can also use a Bluetooth audio interface if you like. I'll leave information about the app and where to download it in the description. Have a go at trying to decode this even though I'm talking on top of it. You'll be quite astonished. Now we'll go ahead and start configuring the Mini Pro SC on Android 5, 6, and 7. First up, make sure your device has OTG support and secondly, make sure you have an OTG adapter cable like the one shown. Let's take a moment to explain OTG and what it is. USB on the go is often abbreviated as USB OTG or just OTG, that's Oscar Tangle Golf. It's a specification that allows USB devices such as tablets and smartphones to act as a host for other USB devices. These are things such as USB flash drives, digital cameras, mice, keyboards, or the audio interface that we'll be configuring today. The USB OTG specification allows our devices to switch back and forth between the roles of host or slave device. When in host mode, our smartphones or tablets provide the power over USB for the USB audio interfaces that will connect between our device and our radios. If your smartphone or tablet doesn't support USB OTG, that's okay. We can default back to the original Wolfy link that you've seen in the channel before. Leaving your audio interface disconnected from your device, let's go into settings and set up audio routing. The setting is almost the same on Android 5, 6, and 7. We we'll go to your settings and scroll down to developer options. On Android 7, make sure that disable audio routing is disabled. On Android 5 and 6, make sure prevent audio routing is disabled. Now we're going to go into your drop down menu and disable notifications on your device. There's nothing worse than an operator who allows device notifications to be broadcast out over the air. So enable do not disturb mode before plugging in your device. Once all that's done, go ahead and plug in. So first you're going to plug in your USB cable into the ZLP Mini Pro SC. 
And then you're going to connect the ZLP to the OTG adapter cable. Now make sure your Mini Pro SC is switched off before moving to step 4. Now we can go ahead and plug the OG adapter into our smartphone or tablet. Finally, you can power on the ZLP Mini Pro SC. If you see a green LED on the front panel, you're good to go. Now I know it seems kind of weird, but we don't need to have the radio connected yet. We only need the ZLP Mini Pro SC. So for both Android 5 and 6 and Android 7, we're going to open the Droid PSK and use its tuning mode to test if our ZLP is actually working. So when you click start in Droid PSK, you're going to see a red LED light up on the ZLP. If you don't see a red LED, go back and follow the initial installation steps. Now I'm going to close Droid PSK and open AND FL MSG. We're going to use the Tune feature in that app to ensure the ZLP actually triggers its push to talk. Once again, if you see that red LED, then you know that the ZLP push to talk is working. It's all extremely straightforward and if you have any problems at all, just go back and start the video over again and follow along. Now we're going to adjust the ALC on the Yaesu FT817ND. Now to be completely frank with you, this sucks on Android. But it's not impossible and only requires practice. So go ahead and connect up your FT817 to the ZLP. If you've got the signal link, it's fairly simple to adjust the output level with the volume controls on the front panel. For the ZLP, we need to use the volume level controls on the Android device itself. While adjusting the volume levels, you need to switch back and forth between power and ALC on your meter. Once you get close, use menu 25, the Digi mic for fine adjustment. Now you are ready to rock and roll. In episode 3, we're going to be setting up the ZLC Mini Pro SC with FL Digi and WSJTX. Finally, if you've enjoyed this video and you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone who might enjoy it. Alright guys, rock and roll. Thanks for watching.